guys the best way because this is now ready completely ready only the cover these four flaps that keeps this all together um, in my opinion it's easier to do that when you are decorated first all of this and then do the cover so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna start decorating love that part um, do you want to see me doing that perhaps you do perhaps you don't if you don't then please skip this part and get your own papers to decorate all of this but I'm just gonna start at the bottom and go forward and forward and see how it all ends um, what I like to do to stretch out my design papers is to use um, a solid color cardstock for the backgrounds for example like this um, you definitely need not only two strips otherwise everything what you put in there will be stuck in that 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 piece that is cut off so I definitely like to do a full sheet under under here under this completely belly band so and same thing as the backgrounds of these big pockets it's just a background so for me it's nice to do a solid cardstock and I'm going to use um, a brown cardstock um, same thing as I did with the other one I really like that it, it gives it it gives the design paper some rest, some quietness. So that is what I'm going to start with. So if you want to skip this, then skip me and go to the next part when I do the cover. But if you like to watch this, then join me. Hey guys, the best way, because this is now ready, completely ready, only the cover, these four flaps. That keeps this all together um, in my opinion it's easier to do that when you are decorated first all of this and then do the cover so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna start decorating love that part um, do you want to see me doing that perhaps you do perhaps you don't if you don't then please skip this part and get your own papers to decorate all of this but I'm just gonna start at the bottom and go forward and forward and see how it all ends um, what I like to do to stretch out my design papers is to use um, a solid color cardstock for the backgrounds for example like this um, you definitely need not only two strips otherwise everything what you put in there will be stuck in that 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 piece that is cut off so I definitely like to do a full sheet under under here under this completely belly band so and same thing as the backgrounds of these big pockets it's just a background so for me it's nice to do a solid cardstock and I'm going to use um, a brown cardstock um, same thing as I did with the other one I really like that it, it gives it it gives the design paper some rest some quietness so that is what I'm going to start with so if you want to skip this then skip me and go to the next part when I do the cover but if you like to watch this then join me okay for those who like to join me decorate all this welcome 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 the first thing I did is of course made first this brown background and now I'm gonna do this waterfall and I just love this this clock I do like adding a nice picture on I think I think I'm gonna cut off first 
half inch or something. Yep, always keep it, always keep it. You can use it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is cut this in the right size. Okay, and now we can start. Um, do I like this or do I like it, like it even? Uh, I think I'm just gonna start at the bottom. I don't want to waste anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each half inch. So every time I cut a half inch. Every time. And I just like cutting first a few and then glue them on. Otherwise I'm going to mess up all my images. So I'm just going to start at the bottom. Just grab the first one and I think we even can use the bottom to start with and then afterwards I'm going to make a little pocket out of this and just go on and on. Until you are having all these set down. It's very easy, but I love doing this. Otherwise, you get how you call that? Yeah, I don't know. A waterfall is meaning for pictures, isn't it? Yes. And um, if you're going to add design paper all over the place, then there is no, not much space for adding pictures on it, is it? So that's why I do not like to add design paper on waterfalls. But just leave a waterfall completely blank. Ugh, I don't like that. That's not my style. I don't like that at all. So, this is the way I really like using using especially images. Great way to use these. And you just go on and on. You just go on and on and on and on. And then she was quiet. <laughs> then she was quiet. Oh yes. Okay, I remember somebody asking me how I cut my half inch strip. Well, the Fiskars, I'm going to show you, the Fiskars has a great um, measurement on this side right here so I just put this to the right strip and then I'm just cutting this off it's that simple so I just love the Fisca because I believe all the Fiskars have measurements on the right side I do see so many uh, cutting machines other, other brands but they never, almost never, have measurements on the right side. And for us album makers, well, I think also for card makers or something, it is definitely needed 
that we have measurements on the right side, especially when you do little strips like this. And um, in the past I had a dollar and that has also not have any measurements on the right side. So I write my measurements on the right side. So if you have a cutting machine that does not have any measurements on the right side, then of course you can write your own on it. But I just believe in the fist course. I do. Okay, now this is the last piece and then the top piece I'm just gonna cut full the top one you just grab your image and make a mark and then you cut at that mark and there you go there you have decorated your waterfall can't make it any easier than that. It's simple. Ta-da! And where it is. Cool. Okay, now we go to the bottom. And I'm gonna use the back for a little tuck spot. And you don't have to make a pocket just a little tuck spot is enough i love that um just grab oh wait just a sec i don't want we do have some leftover pieces mm. okay let's use this as a background This has a tuck spot. Yeah, that's that's cool. Alright, where is my ink? I totally forgot to ink all my little strips just because I <laughs> I film it, but you can ink of course all your little strips of your waterfall. It's not particularly necessary, but Normally, I, I, I would do that. Okay, and now for this one, of course, you're only going to glue on three sides. Otherwise, you don't have a pocket. So, one, two, three. Just a little tuck spot. Cool. All right, and now this is done. Done, done, done. And I do like to cover all the inserts when I'm done with the papers. Because you know I do like the leftover pieces to add on my, um, on my tags or inserts or anything. All right, so I go to the next page. Okay. Um, Let's start with the background, of course. Uh, you don't have to go all the way down. It's not necessary, but if you like that, then you can do that. But it's not necessary. So I'm just going to cut what I need. at the background. And 
go. All right, so what I always like to do is use what you have first. So for this suitcase, let's see what I have left. Let me put this on top so I can see it better, all my leftover pieces. Okay, ooh, I see a nice piece right here. Definitely gonna use that first. Now don't think that this is diagonal, well it is diagonal, but that it's hard. No it's not. You just make two lines, cut it off, the first spot, and then you go to the next spot. Just make a line, or a mark, a mark it is of course. Just cut off and then glue it on. See, that's not difficult at all. Okay, so that is how I continuing. I also can use one at the bottom. Nice, nice, nice. Just use your leftover, guys. Use it. Use it. Okay, in the meantime, I can travel as much as I want, of course. <laughs> Some of you like me to do that some of you don't but I always say you don't have to watch me you don't <laughs> but I know if I don't do this I can do this all by myself but then I know I get questions on why I did not film everything because some of you like to do that to see exactly what I use so for those even they are one or two I don't mind I just keep my camera rolling love doing that for you guys now let's see I do need long pieces Ooh, let's see. This one fits. Hmm. Okay. What's on the back? Just gonna watch because this is not fitting completely. This is. Well, let me use first this one below. So I'm gonna bump in that pocket down here. And I'm just going to start with this one right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is going to take a while, but just take your time for it. Take your time. Okay, next step. First, going to cut this corner. I'm just going to keep coming back. Let's see, because this now.
keep cutting until you have the right size. Yep. And now I can cut this. Yeah. Okay. Alright guys. What shall I tell you today? Well, you know, in the meantime, my holiday is gone, 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 gone. It's over. And I must say that I did not have a terrible holiday. No, it was not. But it was definitely not the same as we used to have during the corona pandemic thing. Definitely not the same as we used to. We was planning on having a few days holiday in Germany, just close by Holland, of course. But it was it just was not no it was not it was it, it just wasn't it wasn't it wasn't what we expected to find so we went to we did not put any reservation on a hotel because we just first wanted to see how it was in Germany um, so yeah, the first day we arrived and how can I say that? First impression was lovely, it was not that terrible with all the rules, with the mouth um, protection and any, anything, everything. But as soon as we was trying to find a hotel we noticed that so much was um, closed. Could happen so much, and and we was we were we were driving a long time already um, to search for an hotel the first night. That for some time. Um, we even went on, um, there is a, 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 a app on your phone, I'm not gonna make advertising for them, but that's easy to find hotels and easy to put a reservation on. So I went to that app and I searched for a hotel uh, in that little town that we were and I put a reservation on. Now, two hours or later, I w we went to that hotel and it was completely closed. It was completely closed. We called, we called, and but it we, we watched to the windows, but all that we could see was that it's not been used for months, maybe years, I don't know. So why could we even make that reservation? I have no clue. <laughs> so, yeah, it was hard for us to do, um, not to do, um, but um, yeah, I don't know how to say this, but where do we go? Where do we go from there? So, we went to the next village and next village and next village and we could not find anything till 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 yeah we did find something um we went to a place that we are used to go uh yes for many 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 years we went to that village so we know a bit around on hotels and anything and normally that is a very busy visiting tourism village but now we went there and oh my goodness 
so much work clothes too and it almost was a spooky town a creepy town it was so empty well of course the village people live there but normally there, there is full of of holiday people um, so it was not what we used to see that I can tell you so we found one hotel that was open so it's a pretty big hotel and that one was open I think oh my goodness we can stay at least for one night here so that's 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 good but good heaven yeah I can tell you that the holiday mood was quickly over so we decided we can we we could have we could have spent the next day again searching for the next hotel because we wanted to make a little holiday um, moving around Germany but I can tell you that my mood for searching hotels was over you can imagine that if you haven't have a little town in Germany and you are used to well, let's say that there are 10 hotels available where you can choose from and now there is one Ugh. okay and that's that's not what yeah not nice it's not nice it's not <laughs> so we decided to go home and, and even with the um, with the uh, I call that the rules of having that mouth protection uh, it's also not that mm, you need it I know there are just little rules I know but girls 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 if you are in an hotel and you are going to move around like say going to the toilet in a restaurant or having in the morning breakfast and you need to put every single time that that thing on your mouth i know i know there are there are um um i call that there are ah dirt i call uh, there are working things that people need to have their mouth protection all day long so I don't have to complain of anything I know I know I know I know but I'm not used to have that protection on my face and so what am I complaining I know I know I know but I just do <laughs> I just do I did not like it at all. Okay, these are nice two photo mats that I'm going to use on here. Um, I think I like these just in a cream color, not white. I don't think. Well, you can use white, white or cream, but I think the cream one is better what do you think i think it's better all right so i'm gonna do right away that white cream color on it right away two pieces save time <laughs> always try to save time you also can use these as letters or something if you like to write on
So yes, our Germany holiday was very quick. <laughs> Over. You were very quick back at home. And at that time, I think we realized that it's not that bad to stay in Holland, in our own home country. Here in Holland, there isn't that much rules. We don't have that face protection duty or anything. It's, well for now at least it is. I don't know how long it takes before that is here too needed. But for now it's still not a rule. Um, attack for here, you can, I always like to do that, I just grab everything that I have in my stash, so you don't have to use exactly the same sizes as I do, I'm just going to see what I have, and then I'm going to see if this is too big, yep, I want it a little smaller, let's say... Six inches long enough. Yeah, this is way better. Let's make a nice little booklet out of it. Decoration I do when everything is done. But you see right now that there is a pocket. We don't forget that. All right, let's go to the this one. This one is that incision page. Very easy, but let's see which paper we're going to use. Okay, in this paper pack, there are nine double-sided papers, and some of these pages I'm not going to use. And that's definitely this one. So this one I'm going to use for here. And I believe there is another one that I am not going to use, and that's this one with the cutout letters. So I'm going to use that too, and let's see what else. I think the rest we all can use and cut out. Yep. Definitely gonna do that later today. All cutting out one path for the rest of them. Okay. But these we definitely can use. So I'm going to use this one on this page. So I'm just going to fully cut out this page. pages. All right, so very easy. Let me first smooth the edges. And let's move this. For a moment, let's search <coughs> in what we have. We can use these. You can use this one. Oh, I think I'm going to use this one. So, let's split this in half. Cut a little corner 
to give it just a little more and twist. Now I even forgot to watch if these are too long. Mm. Yeah, they can be a little shorter, just a little. Totally forgot to check that out first. Okay, just a little shorter and cutting again the corners. Yeah, this is way better. All right, now I'm gonna stay away about one inch from this from this edge right here. So let me first glue this on. Don't forget touching every spot because we're gonna cut this. We need to have every spot on with glue. Alright. There we go. Alright, now we can make some incisions. Um, now luckily there is already a nice line on here, same on here, so I don't have to draw any lines, so that's easy. Um, the only thing is perhaps make a mark to where I want the incision. Okay. Now, the next thing I do like of these incisions is I'm going to make two, not only one, I'm going to make two incisions. That's one. Then I like to turn the page and I'm going to make another incision. So I'm going to make a little opening. And that's better to put something in and out. Just a little more noise. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now let's do that on the other side too. Yeah, and then she was quiet again. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I am. When it's... Exciting things to do. I want to get all my focus. Okay. 
that's it guys nice incision pockets now how to glue this down you have to put something in here so everything on here needs to be clear so I'm gonna put my glue all the way around and then a bit here that's the only spot that I'm gonna glue down so let me put this back so first all the way around and then right here that's it Now you can already make tags for in here. Um, let's say three and a half will fit by by five and a half, something like that. it's needed to clean it here we go here we go here we go just a simple photo mat keep it simple keep it simple Oops, oops, oh my goodness. I need to be quick with our little glue. I noticed that these lines are wider than this one. Mm. Okay, not, not that of a big deal, but normally I will definitely want all my lines the same. This one is very short. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, we can put some decoration on here, but I will do that on a little stage. Perhaps I want to do something else. But this is done. Done, done, done. For now. So I'm going to go back on here. And for this one, I believe we did the page with the coffee cup. Let's see where the coffee cup is. Here is the coffee cup. Okay. So I am going to cut off first the bottom. Use the coffee cup. A nice full page. And what I did with this page is 
just cut off what I did was I'm just going to cut off not cut off I'm cutting in Now, the next thing, this piece I all can glue, this not because this is a little tuck spot, so here I put glue, but not this area. Alright, so to be safe, just go first all the way around. And then on top, what you have cut out. as simple or as hard as you want okay so now if we have a nice tag then you can put it in here a nice tuck spot cool yes all right let's go to the next Okay, let's go to the small pockets. The small pockets are easy because we only need small pieces, especially on here. So it's good to use all the bits and pieces that you have. See, this one fits perfectly. Use it. Mm. This way. We need to weed it. Otherwise it's upside down, of course. And we don't want to... I'm just searching for the pieces that will fit. Just filling up those pockets. So I first do the little spots. The little spots. Use it all. What else did I do on my holiday? Well, I all, we also had some house isolation because it was so hot. It was 38 degrees, so I think we stayed one and a half week inside the house with the air conditioning on. I did not think that was very bad because 
you know me, I like being at home. So I just clear up my craft stuff and I've just had a wonderful time downstairs with my papers. My partner was not that happy about that weather because you can you can't do anything. It was oh it was too hot to do anything. <laughs> so but yeah for me it was nice. I do love that quality time in the house. But I can imagine that my partner did not like that. Because he had, he does not have particularly much um, hobbies to do in the house, but but it went by, it went by. Okay. Oh, we definitely. Oh, there was one day that we went to a nice big city, Maastricht. It's called. Oh my goodness, that is such a lovely city. Good heaven! And you know, I do love. We do love hill catching, so we first did a little. Um, yeah, it's called a multiple catch it means that you go from stage to stage and with your um what do you call that with your gps and that was a small walk a small route you can follow um along the old walls from the street and i must say I never knew that there was such a nice spots right there. And after we finished that multiple hill catch, um, so um, the stores were open, so we went a little shopping that day. I think we managed three times having a nice sit on a nice cloudy terrace really nice it was a very, very nice day happy that we did something <laughs> during this holiday well it's not that we did not do anything but I think it would be nicer that we did a bit more mm, I don't want to use this Let's see what can we use Gosh, we can do, we can use so much. I have no idea, what did I use on this one? Just gonna have a little peep. What did I use? This one. Also the leftover pieces. Okay. Hmm. Well, it does not matter which one you're using, of course. Does not matter. Whatever you're gonna use, okay. I'm gonna search for that. I'm just, I'm just. My imagination is running out. <laughs> and these small pieces are just. I can always come back for that. I'm just gonna continuing. Well, those little pieces I can, I can, I can. Yes, I can fill them up with something. Those little pieces. Yeah, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna a little bit. Of... <laughs> okay, I'll be back in just a sec. And then I'm gonna show you how <laughs> the end result are. Otherwise, this video is gonna be way too long. Ready? 
you get bored. I believe you get bored for me. <laughs> okay, guys, I finished this up <laughs> with a nice cup of tea and some little music. Um, I'm going to show you which paper I use. And so for the little back, the little pocket, just made a little tag with a nice ribbon in here, just to give it a little interest. Then on the back, I use the same paper as here. And then um, this paper I used, already made two nice little photo mats in there. So yeah, you can use any paper you like. And on the back I use this one. So this is pretty much the same as the bottom. It all fits perfectly to each other. So yeah. So this we can close down. I did not cut out all the rest of the images to decorate. So we do that later. So now we're going to flip up to the air. And now we are going to decorate this piece right here. Cool. 